Through. Let him in. Let him in. Mr. Chichester, how goes your investigation? This will not stand. Oh, but it will. It always does. Delaney would not make a deal with you. The record will show that the EIC cooperated with your commission into the sinking of the influence fully and without reservation. <laughs> You're an idealist. Delaney and I are realists. But the difference between Delaney and me is that I always make sure I have one last ace to play. In a way, it is kind of fucked that they could possibly get away with it, but James has had such a grudge against him, I can't see it happening. James is just using him as a stepping stone to get what he wants, and then Stuart Strange will get shit on afterwards. I can't see him getting away with it, you know what I mean? James is just using him. He has people with you? Definitely. Take a look. It's a deed of transfer. Huh? Transferring my title to Nootka Sound to the East India Company. And your friend, Stuart Strange. What? You present yourself as an agent of the free states of America like a good little sheep. But long since you've been dangled in front of the King of England by the East India Company. Hmm? No one in this city has only one master. Ben. I was gonna say he's not gonna sign it. Fuck him up. I do. <laughs> I was just gonna say, thought maybe she was gonna swim, swim to the surface. Don't tell me she's dead and now he's gonna have, have like a vision of her. Wow. Like, he's had a vision of his sister, now he knows that she's dead, so, it could be all just in his head, man. Where is Delaney? Busy. She is now under the flag of the Honourable East India, so you will have no hindrance. Tell Mr. Delaney. He may have won this small battle, but justice will be delivered to him by God. Kind regards from Stuart Strange. What? Wow. Strange is just taking out everybody who could, like, one day snitch against him or something. Clearing up all the loose ends, man. <laughs> Fucking kill him! If he dies, then Nootka goes to the Americans, as per his word. Fuck Nootka! Fuck wills! Fuck treaties! I'm the head of fucking state! And by the command of his majesty... Kill him. Wow. The fuck? You good? Oh shit, they know. Well, James just knew that he was going to come down to this. I swear to God, he, he knows everything. James knew that the crown wouldn't stand for it. Cole will kill him with his own cook if he's not shot to death. Can't kill him. Why? We need him. He's a doctor. I was wondering why they blocked off the street and everything, like... <laughs> why he was crying like a bomb or like a diversion, like... Wow. 
Wow, he just fucked him up in the fucking... Wow. That is some savage shit. Oh. They were trying to lead him on the fucking bridge. I bet there's like explosives on the bridge or something. Should have waited, man. <laughs> Behind you, behind you, man. Oh no, how go? Go on, that's just fuck her up. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? People are dying, man. What the hell? They said he can't die. He's the doctor. Hey, catch, motherfucker. <laughs> he looks dead to me, man. The doctor looks dead to me. Oh, no. This is so bad. I did not expect it to go down like this. Wow. No one a ball got hit in the shoulder. Fucking Hauger's gone. Uh huh. My final ace. Still no word from Wilton or Pettifer, sir. Ah, uh, perhaps they left early for the weekend. <laughs> How did this get here? Uh, some errand boy delivered it, sir, from a Dr. Dumbarton. Said you'd be expecting it. He, I think. Tea, sir? Yes. All the tea in China. And a strip of land at the arse of a pig. <laughs> <laughs> and an end to this business at last. Oh! I did not expect that. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. Hey. <laughs> I feel for Bryce, I really do. So he's finally got the proof he's got to have justice, but Strange has been killed now, so. Justice. Yep. That's good, man, because like I said, it would have been a fucker if Strange got away with it all. I'm interested now to know if the Doctor survived. Oh, he's got shot in the arm. I thought it was like his shoulder. Oh. Yes. You know, I said, such a beautiful thing, guys. Very, uh... Yes. Oh, that's so bad. 
If he survives, he's going to be so scarred up, man. America, then. No. Ponte Delgado in the Azores. I need to see a man called Colonnade. I thought the gunpowder was for the Americans. We are Americans. This show is so good. Is that it? Is that? Ah, oh, what a fucking show. What a show. Oh my God. I am quite lost for words, man. Like, like many of my friends who have seen this show, they've all more or less said the same thing when we got into the conversation of a season two. Like, they've all said, without spoiling it, they've all said with the way that season one ends, they can't see how season two would start, you know? And to a certain degree, I can understand that because everything's been wrapped up. You know, like, I, I I, guess when they were making the show, they weren't too sure if there was going to be a second season or not. Um, so, of course, everything's been wrapped up nicely. Strange has been taken out. His little servants have all been taken out. Bryce isn't a servant anymore. He's got his own place. He's got a dog. He's just basically an, an old man and his dog. <laughs> He's got a house. By well, the house and the estate means the money and everything. Well, what's left of it? There's finally justice for all the victims of the ship, uh, the uh, Corn Willis that, that fucking went down. Everything's been kind of wrapped up nicely, you know what I mean? Apart from the ship and, and where's that going to go now? And like, is Lorna Bowl going to heal from that wound? Of course she will. It was a fucking shoulder wound. But also the doctor as well, like, he looks so fucked up. If he comes back in season two, he's going to have so much like... Make up on for the scarring, man. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, everything's just been kind of wrapped up nice. Like, only thing I can think of for, like, season two is it's going to be dealing with America and Nooker Sound and creating more of a trade route and, and everything. You know what I mean? And, of course, dealing with the crown and everything from England, trying to go after James Delaney. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can see season two taking place in America and ever so often going over to Nooker Sound and we'll probably see the tribes that his mother came from or something. Like, what a fucking tremendous show, man. Just, it, I, I think I need to watch this episode again because there was just so much going on. Just because I need to edit episode 7 for you guys to watch this Friday, or last Friday as you're watching this, um, but between now and me editing this episode, I might turn on the camera again and give more kind of like final thoughts and stuff after watching the episode again, just kind of really break it down and, and talk about it more, um, and if not, then I'm just going to use this footage, <laughs> so if you're actually watching this, then it means I didn't do it. But yeah, it was just so good. So wow, like, the writing was fucking superb. The plots. Like I said, it, it always just seemed like James fucking Delaney was always, like, a couple of steps in front of everybody. He was outsmarting fucking everyone. Like, okay. Zalpha, alright? I think... I kind of think, to, like, a certain degree, she's not dead. Because they've kind of left that a bit open. Like, we haven't saw a body washed up. Um, or, or it's not like anyone's come knocking on the door saying, like, we found your sister's body. Blah, 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 blah. There's been none of that. So, that could be left open going into season two. James could find out that his sister is still alive. Hence the reason why he would go back to London. But then, like I said, there's no other 
reason for him to be in London now. It's all been wrapped up, done, moving off to America. So I guess Zalfa is really dead unless she comes looking for him. I don't know. That that's that's the only thing that I just don't it just don't feel right to me. If she really is dead, then it just seems like they just kind of just wrote it in quickly just to kind of take her out out the picture. But I think there's a possibility that she might have survived it. Um, I don't know. It, it just don't feel right to me. It's just that. That's the only thing that just... I don't know. Just don't feel right. Um, but everything else, man. The whole entire season. like, It's one of those shows that, that you can go back and watch. Again and again. You know what I mean? So smart. And like, even even now, the fact that I've just watched like episodes 7 and 8... I still feel like there's things that's kind of gone over my head a little bit because it was so smart and so on top of things. Just fucking good, man. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for season two. I cannot wait for season two. I believe it's going to be next year, right? I feel like I've been talking for ages and I feel like my voice is getting really, really dry. So I'm going to end this now. I really hope you've enjoyed this uh, Taboo series. Um... I, I really love this show, man. I really can't wait for it to come back. Tom Hardy, I salute you, man. This show's fucking outstanding. Um, yeah. Give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sifurian. I'll catch you in the next one, man. <laughs>